Hello, welcome to the Worldwide Center of Mathematics. My name is Kelsey, and today I'll be going over the probability density function, um, as well as expectation values, part two. Uh, so in this part, I'm going to be going over examples of how to use both the probability density function, as well as um, finding expectation values to show some real world applications and things like that. So if you have not seen part one yet, we strongly recommend you uh, do watch that, unless you're already familiar with um, PDF and expectation values. Uh, in which case, here are just a few examples of things you can do. Okay, so I'm going to start with the discrete example. Um, very simple gambling game. You roll a die, and depending on what you get, you earn some number of dollars. Um, so if you roll a one, you lose six dollars, two, you lose two dollars, three, you gain nothing, four, you gain one, five, you gain two, six, you gain four. Um, so we're going to find the expectation value using both a fair dice and a weighted dice. So for the fair dice roll, you would expect that each number comes with the same probability. So um, based on what we learned last time for the expectation value, we can calculate uh, what we, how much money we think we'll win or lose. Uh, so I'll use blue because uh, I use blue to represent the fair die. Okay, so I'm going to sum all the, um, the possible values of x you can get, where x is going to represent the number of, the amount of money you're going to earn, and multiply it by each respective probability of getting that x value, which is going to be one-sixth in this first case. So, uh, as you can see here, I've taken all six possible values, see what you earn, what probability it is. If you add all of this up, you get negative, negative one of one six, and this is approximately negative 17 cents. So if you were to play this game with a fair die, um, it is slightly weighted against your favor, so you would be expected to lose 70 cent, 17 cents by playing this game like this. So um, now I'm going to calculate it for the unfair die. That makes a slightly more interesting problem. Uh, but based on this first result, you're probably not going to make any money. So again, I have to take um, each probability, multiply it by the winnings, and if I sum that up, we can find out how much money we're expected to win or lose. So we add those all up. And from that, we are able to see that we are expected to lose $2.42 from this gamble. There is a much stronger bias towards uh, getting the lower numbers, which lose you money. Okay, so that's the example of discrete expectation value. Uh, so for the next part, I'm going to be giving you an, um, an example of continuous uh, ra uh, random variable expectation values. Uh, we're going to say uh, some company has a plant and they give you a probability density function for how tall it is expected to grow after 10 days, assuming you raised it correctly and didn't kill it. Um, so they say after one month, there's a probability distribution that models how tall uh, this plant will grow. And unlike above, it's not like it grows two feet on the dot. It's gonna, it could possibly grow two and a half feet, two and a quarter foot, uh, one and a half feet, etc. So it's not this um, discrete method where you have exact numbers with distinct probabilities. It's, um, it's a spread. So they predict if you grow this plant correctly, there is a zero probability that it grows less than one foot. There is a zero probability that it grows greater than three feet, but in the middle, You have this equation that describes how much how the probability is of it growing from one foot to three feet, and that's the model they give. It's not it's probably not going to be perfect, but it is something that we can work with and find an expectation value for. Okay, so how tall do we expect our plant to grow, assuming it is average, and we took good care of the plant and did not do anything that made it not fall within the average. 
for the continual a continuous variable, we're going to be using an integral. Uh, this is not discrete. And from this probability function, we see that it's going to be 0 everywhere where y is not, ex is not um, between the range 1 and 3. So I'm going to turn this integral into And for this range 1 to 3, we have this as the integral. Went ahead and multiplied y into the mix. And so this is a very easy integral to evaluate. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do it. We're going to evaluate this from 1 to 3. And you get 2 feet. So on this range, you're expected to get a plant that is 2 feet tall. Um, and if you plot out the graph, it would look like this. Uh, so the answer of 2 feet is very reasonable and expected. So that is how you can use the probability Density functions to find expect expected values. This is very useful, very powerful. Uh, a lot of real world applications. Thank you so very much for watching. Uh, if you would like to see more, you can click up here to see the playlist of probability basics. Um, you can also subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking here. If you want to visit us on centerofmath.org, you can click here. And if you are on a mobile device, you can. there should be an I in the top corner over there. And if you click that, it should give you the same links. So thank you so very much for watching. We hope you learned about probability.